Hey up everybody, I'm just dropping off my tender for a while and my loco maintenance work that I'm doing uh, just to, you know, spend a few hours on this so I did an introduction to this not long back if you've not seen that it might pay you just to take a look at that to know exactly what I'm doing uh, so in this part then I'm going to get all that very very light surface rust off the castings and uh, the, the few components that the previous owner well the not the previous owner the initial owner did many many moons ago I'm going to get all get all those cleaned up and I think my first job once I've got everything cleaned up I've got to make some gibs for the um, slideways just so I can get all the slideways working and then I've got to move on to everything else everything else wants making from scratch all the screws the head stock the pulleys the lead screw uh, the back gears the tail stock everything so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done in each part but what I'll do I'll just I'll just ferret away at it and uh, do what I can in each part I'm not going to make it too long each part and we'll just take it from there but you know there's a hell of a lot of work to do a lot of machining to do let's crack on then I'm going to make a gib now for this cross slide right I've just cut this piece of brass I had in my stock it's the correct thickness that I need it might be just a few thousandths too, um, too thick might want polishing so what I'm going to do then I'm going to I'm going to do some detail filing work to get this to fit in that slot uh, ready to pick up the adjusting screws
I'm going to move on to the headstock spindle to start with. Uh, like I said in my introduction, I've got no plans or drawings for this, it's all coming out of my head. So I've made this bit of a sketch up for the spindle. Uh, I'm going to put a number one most taper in the nose. I drill it through probably three eighths of an inch to get your bar stock through. Uh, I'm going to put a 5 8 UNF thread on the nose and the actual overall length I'll have to make it a bit longer than I actually need because I'm not quite sure yet what I'm doing with these change wheels for the screw cutting so I'll probably have to revisit this and then trim the end off at a later date. 